this goes out to my 3,800 brethren and in 3,800 power plants we trust. Um, right here, I've got a Grand Prix GTP um, entire intake right here. I've got the throttle body, supercharger, intake manifold. And it's really, really easy to pick up extra horsepower and torque from doing a self homemade port and polish job. Um, it took me about an hour, 45 minutes just to pull the supercharger off. Um, it's really, really easy. And if you guys are thinking about making the jump, I'm just going to tell you, make it because it is so worth your while. Here we have the throttle body, and this is what allows the air intake to come in. Um, we have the mass sensor here, and we have a throttle positioning sensor. Um, but right in here, this is what allows the air to come in after it's been filtered. And so after the air has been filtered, it comes in through the supercharger housing. Now it comes up through the supercharger housing and it's sucked in by these turbines right here. It's sucked in by these turbines that are spinning very, very fast. And so when it's sucked in from the turbines, the air now enters what is called the outlet port of the supercharger. And it enters in here. After the air is dispersed in the intake manifold, where it comes in here and is distributed as equally as possible by an intake manifold to each of the six cylinders. After it has been distributed, it comes out here in the front three ports and in the rear three ports, um, that, which then goes into the head. Um, when you pull your intake manifold off, a lot of times you'll find that these pores here are just filled with junk. Filled with carbon buildup and whatever um, emissions that the uh, EGR has um, thrown into our intakes. So at this point, um, I just like to use a uh, carb cleaner, aka gum out. I mean, it's all essentially the same stuff. And towels. Towels are very, very helpful. Um, and cleaning this out because what it, what that carbon buildup does is restrict airflow, and it also heats up, so it creates um, more detonation, more knock, etc. So it's absolutely vital to creating horsepower, torque, and throttle response to get rid of this carbon buildup as much as possible. Another cool little trick is to uh, block off the uh, coolant passages. Now the coolant actually will come in. Through the super, through the intake manifold, through these two holes here, up through the supercharger, and it's the way that it, the the passages are set. The throttle body will also be heat, heated up by the engine coolant. This is bad. It creates higher intake air temps, um, creating more knock um, because we want as much cold, dense air as possible. Um, it makes our engines more boost friendly and more powerful. So, right here what I've done is I have drilled and tapped these coolant holes in the supercharger. Um, and then I used, I don't quite remember, I think maybe like 3 8 um, but that could be wrong. And then I used uh, just a bolt and screwed them in with Loctite. And I used uh, a pair of uh, crescent wrenches and I just torqued them down as much as I could get them and this now blocks off the coolant so that way we can get as much cold air in as possible. Here we have the boost bypass valve. Um, this is what allows us to get such great fuel economy um, under light throttle conditions where we're not spooling any boost. Um, so here's what happens. The air from the intake manifold um, is pressurized from the supercharger and it will actually come up through this hole. Now, coming up through this hole puts pressure on our plate right in here. This plate is then connected to our bypass valve right here, and once we have too much boost or it's under too high a pressure, the bypass valve will electronically open, and it will open this uh, gate and allow the air to go back through the supercharger to be spun by the rotors and then pressurized into the intake manifold again. Um, so guys, do not remove. Um, I have heard on some forums 
um, about guys wanting to take off the bypass valve. Absolutely not. Terrible mileage, um, and, and it's there for safety as well that we don't overboost. Um, I've also heard about um, well, where should we place the uh, bypass valve? At this point, I, I can't really tell you up or down, left or right, side to side. I don't know, um, but I do know that it's on there for a reason, and now you know it's function. Um, so here we go into the polishing. Um, now the polishing, I have chosen 400 grit sandpaper. Um, we want super fine for um, the most airflow possible. Now when you go into the heads, porting and polishing then becomes more of an art form um, because you don't want to go too smooth because then that can create turbulence. Um, but as far as the intake manifold is concerned, it's still okay to pour extremely smooth. Um, so on mine, I have used 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just on these ports, I've just gone in and out um, of the ports um, with the sandpaper to smooth it out. Um, also, here we go, uh, supercharger. Um, this is the inlet port, this is the outlet port. Um, I have ported with a Craftsman drill and a drill bit from Home Depot. I have pretty much just ported out my outlet port as you can see, um, it is much bigger here than it was originally because the original shape was like this and then it came down to about here and this is all on each side is just covered with metal and um, it doesn't allow airflow. So again, so if the air is spun by the rotor and it can't exit, then it has to get spun again and again and again until it finally hits an air path that it can go through. But all these extra rotations are creating extra heat, which then creates more knock, detonation, um, etc. So we want as much cold air as we can fit in there. Porting, perfectly acceptable, definitely okay to do a homemade job. Um, on the intake manifold, definitely okay to do a homemade job. Um, just make sure you don't go overboard on porting. Um, in fact, I don't recommend doing too much porting, if any, just polishing because we don't want to have the intake manifold larger in diameter than that of the head because that's just not going to work. That's not good because it's not ported to flow. It's not ported to match. So that's bad. Um, but as far as the intake is concerned, um, the smoother the better until you start to get into the head because that's sort of an art form in itself.